There's a saying, the bait you use is the fish you will catch. Well, what bait are you using? That is what's coming up next. Well, let's welcome everyone, okay? Welcome to Let's Talk with Teresa and I am your host and so excited you're joining me on today's episode. So the mission and the purpose of Let's Talk with Teresa Ann is to simply allow God's word to flip the script in our lives, to shift perspective in how we see through the circumstances of this life. So my husband has coined this phrase, the bait you use is the fish you will catch. And although that phrase is very principle based, it is so true. Now think about this. If you use the bait of insecurity without even knowing it, you are going to attract insecure people into your life. If you use the bait of, I want to rescue you, you're going to obviously attract people who you think need rescuing. (laughs) And you're going to try to change. And most of the time, that doesn't happen. Most of the time, those people are the ones who actually influence us to go the default route versus coming up higher. So with that said, that's a whole nother show. But I want to highlight how God uses the bait of kindness and goodness to lure them back to him. So are we using a bait of judgment and criticism toward people? If we are, then without realizing it, we're actually luring them to the enemy and not to the Father. In Matthew 4, it says, One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers Simon also called Peter and Andrew throwing a net into the water for they fished for a living. And Jesus called out to them, come and follow me and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. So being that God uniquely designed every single person, they're all fearfully and wonderfully made. He gave them all different personalities, meaning that means that they're not all going to fall for the same bait. They're they're not going to be wooed the same way that someone else is going to be wooed to the Father. And so here is the common thing, though. The common thing with every bait that leads people back to the Lord is this very thing is being kind, being good to people. You know, practically speaking, what does that look like? That can mean simply mowing someone's lawn, bringing a cooked meal over for someone, or maybe it's just sending an encouraging letter in the mail, or maybe a text or an email. But just know that the goodness and the kindness of God is what leads people to repent. Repenting is not what we think in just the aspect of crying out and confessing what we've done wrong, but it's also turning around our life, turning our life around and now facing and following after God. So here's the best part of it all. You don't have to try to figure out what bait to use. All you do is you go to the greatest fisherman of all, our almighty God, by the power of the Holy Spirit within you. And you say, Holy Spirit, will you show me what bait to use for that person? He already has it. He already knows how. He will give you creative ideas on how to do it. If that person is analytical and maybe scientific, guess what? He's probably gonna use someone who has a scientific mind, who thinks analytically, or he may use you to be able to speak on their terms. So let's utilize the bait that God uses. And I believe the greatest bait of all is his goodness, because it shows in his word that it's the goodness of God that leads man to repentance.
Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. And remember, this show is all about bold inspiration, revealing God's goodness. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to both my YouTube and podcast channels. You can also go to iTunes, click search, then type in Let's Talk with Teresa Ann. Then after you find it, select the icon, then scroll down to the bottom of the page where you will find Write a Review. Click on that, then write your review and post it. Thank you so much.